In this video tutorial, we will be discussing trigger result, reposition once, and the relationship between the X, Y, and Z axis in relationship to positioning of your new model. Alrighty, so I just added two different models up top. One is my magnifying glass, and one is my spaceship. My spaceship I put on paddle number one. It is currently at its 100% scale, which is the default setting. And our magnifying glass is currently on paddle number two, which is also at its default setting. So let's go over to the right side to where we can add a rule. And we are going to be dealing with uh, proximity outside in relationship to uh, repositioning our model once. So right now, um, you can see our X, Y, and Z axis are all the same at zero. This is one time that all three of them do not need to be the same. It all basically depends on where you would like your model to be repositioned to. You do need to remember that our X axis is from left to right, our Y axis is up and down, and our Z axis is forward and back. For an example, we will actually reposition everything to uh, 100. And now we will actually go back and recap just to make sure that all our settings are correct. So right now, our spaceship on paddle number one, our trigger is that when it gets too far away from paddle number two, which is the magnifying glass, it's going to reposition once, 100 millimeters in the X axis, Y and on the Z axis. So we can see that here's our model that's going to be repositioned when it gets close to our trigger setting over here of the magnifying glass. So now let's go run this in mouse mode. And, uh, and see what our results are. You can see they both are currently starting where they're supposed to on top of the paddle. And you can see that as I move paddle number one slowly away from paddle number two, that a reposition 100 millimeters on the x-axis, on the y-axis, and the z-axis. So right now, we can actually uh, we can go around the model so you can see a little, little bit better how it got repositioned. And now we will exit out of here and we will go back and we can actually mess with our X and Y axis. For instance, if I um, don't want it to go um, any more recessed away from the paddle, I can put this back to zero and I can just have our X and our Y axis are controlling our new positioning. And we will run it in mouse mode again. Alrighty, so now you can see they both started off in the same position as we get it farther away. You can see that it did not move it forward or back. You can see that all it did was it just moved over to the left and it moved it up higher. So we only this time mess with our X axis and our Y axis. Now this time, we actually will leave our X axis at zero and we will only mess with our Y axis, which will just raise the model up 100 millimeters directly straight up from the paddle. We'll run a mouse mode just so we can uh, get a better understanding of visually what it looks like. Alrighty, so you can see it starts off the same, and as we move it, as we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see that the paddle did not move left, it did not move right, it just moved straight up on the y-axis. Now we can actually go back and we can see what happens when we only move it on the x-axis. We'll put that at zero, and we will put x at 100. So now, this should actually just move our model 100 millimeters over to the left of the paddle. So all we have to do is just move it a little bit away, and you can see our interaction just happened. And now the model did not move up, did not move forward and back. It just moved 100 millimeters to the left on our x-axis. 